if you want to be commander in chief, it's always good to telegraph that by being photographed with an aircraft carrier. Matt Rourke made this image from behind Rick Santorum with an ultra wide angle lens as he walked up to the USS Yorktown for a rally. That was one of just many photographs snapped by AP photographers as they crisscrossed South Carolina chasing the candidates. Hi, I'm David Ake. A lot happened in the battle for the South this week. Let's take a look at how our photographers saw it. Two candidates threw in the towel this week. Matt Rourke unknowingly foreshadowed Huntsman's announcement that he was leaving the race with this picture of the candidate walking down a flight of stairs the day before he made it official. Charlie Darapak shot this image of Huntsman making the announcement from the back of the room with a telephoto lens. Later in the week, Rick Perry suspended his campaign too. David Goldman made this close-up during the announcement and then stuck around to shoot the campaign staff packing up and leaving. The closer we got to the actual primary, the bigger the crowds grew. David Goldman shot from an elevated position to give the viewer a sense of scene and scale at this Newt Gingrich rally. For an overcrowded Mitt Romney rally, he took a different approach and shot the deputy sheriff looking back through the closed doors after the room was filled to capacity. And Charlie Darapak took a third whack at it and used shadows cast on a campaign banner to show the audience. Making pictures of the candidates at the podium is only a small part of a photographer's job on the campaign trail. Looking for the behind-the-scene moments is key to giving you a feel for the candidate. For example, Matt Rourke made this image of Rick Santorum waiting to be introduced at a rally. Earlier in the week, he made this moment of Newt Gingrich and his wife Callista leaving a church event. Charlie Darapak stepped into a hallway to photograph Newt Gingrich surrounded by security as he talked on the phone and Pablo Martinez Monsivas followed suit for this picture of Ron Paul waiting to speak at the South Carolina State House. Since we're on the subject, Ron Paul is an interesting candidate for photographers to cover. He rarely works a rope line and tends to make his campaign appearances and then leave. David Goldman followed him outside after an event to make this image of him sitting in his SUV and signing autographs through the window. He then backed up and captured the crowd photographing the candidate while he sat in his truck. It struck me this week while editing pictures how many people hand their babies to Mitt Romney. Here are just four, all shot by Charlie Darapak. Is it possible people mistake his rallies for drop-in daycare? On the Washington Photo Desk, I'm David Ake, The Associated Press.